Hey everybody, welcome back to Jaws of Extinction. As you can see from the screen, we have a new loading screen. We are into uh, a rather large update and we're starting uh, fresh again. We're going to see um, where we wind up. Hopefully this will load up. This seems to be loading up very quickly. And um, we start out right here, spawning into the, uh, looks like we're in the safe zone, I think, in the meds area. Looking around, seeing if anything's changed. We got no, no, no stuff. Uh, crafting, looks like the skills isn't quite set up yet. That's cool. Um, well, let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to do here. Uh, let's see if we can talk to this person. Safe zones. This is the backwater safe zone. Let's see what she says. Uh, nice to meet you. If you haven't spoken to Kenneth, he's in the office downstairs. He mentioned we had a newcomer arriving asking if ask that you get sent to his way first all right well then we'll go talk to Kenneth let's go see we don't seem to have any anything valuable with us before you leave the safe zone visit the local runner to receive some equipment so we'll have to figure out who that is Somebody's library of books and a place to sleep. Here's a wheelchair. This must be the infirmary upstairs. I guess we get to go here, check in. Remember to speak with the safe zone leader before you leave. Find him in a large house on the west side of the settlement. Let's look in here. Uh, looks like a dining room table of sorts to eat at. And this looks like a waiting room or a living room looks like this could be the doctor's office i suppose let's see what that says if you want to learn the basics take a right as you leave the building you'll find a training ground let's go let's go check that out i guess here's the training ground Here's the food and entertainment and trade. They even have a rage fit uh, drink thing. I don't see any food in there. I don't know if we can buy any sodas. We can certainly talk to her maybe. Oh, so gotta go talk to Ken. All right, well, can we do training without seeing Ken? Let's go see if we can do the training without going to see Ken. All right. So let's see if we can go into this training area and do any training before. This is probably a craziness right here, but what the heck? Vaulting. Climbing. Shift. It says walk forwards and hold shift to start running and jump. Okay, well, that didn't work. Stealth. 
use the foliage below and sneak past the infected. Okay, so I guess we have to sneak through the tunnel. Hmm. Get down. We snuck through the tunnel. Climb the ladder. Check our vitals. And climb back down the ladder. Switch view perspective from third person first person by using P. Yes. Turn on the flashlight. Did that. Turn off the flashlight. Training is complete. There will be more added later. So we've done our training. All right. So we've done the training. We need to find, we need to go talk to Ken. F. And I think that once we talk to Kenneth, let's look at this map here. So we know, oh, it's very good. Trader's Point, Mechanic, Runner. So I'm in front of the eatery sign. The runner is over to my right. And there's a living area down back. East Hannetton HQ. So let's go to HQ. This is a living area back over here, it looks like. Interesting. Search the crap. I mean, the debris. <laughs> Searching the debris. Well, we got ourselves a candle. map down here at the bottom that circles with us. I hadn't seen that before. All right. Here's uh, something under construction. Looks like this is where we get material and resources for that. And uh, I guess that's the living area over there. Let's look at the map. It's a very small version. I don't know how much has changed outside of here, but let's go see Kenneth. We gotta get out of these clothes soon. It says Lock Crest Penitentiary. That can't be good. All right, let's talk to Kenneth. Well, look, we got new health bars I've never seen before either. This is awesome stuff here. Hello, I heard you were on your way. Name's Kenneth Hughes. Most people just call me Ken. Welcome to Blackwater Beacon. I more or less run things around here. Pleasure to meet you. Now what brings you out our way? Certainly is. Always plenty to do around here. We set up a notice board by the front gate. Helps us keep track of all the jobs and need done. You should check it out. I know folk all sorts. Folks always in need of some supplies, whether it be food, medicine, or salvage. 
Some might even have posted some personal errands. And if you got some fight in you, I sometimes post bounties and search and destroy contracts. Since things went south, we've been having trouble with uh, other survivors. Some folks would rather steal from us or attack us than put in an honest day's work. I'm not one for violence, but I'm willing to do anything to keep my people safe. I need someone to put an end to the survivors looking to exploit us. Anything else I can help you with? Yeah, I want to know about the search and destroy the contracts. The infected outnumber us already. We need to do anything we can to bring down their numbers. There are reports of large groups of them in you know, certain areas. It would help all of us if someone with enough firepower could clear them out. Okay. Anything so, else I can help you with? Nope. That'll be it. Thanks. Alright. So we... Uh, need to go see the runner. Because we got no... Nothing to protect ourselves with. Nothing on the tool bench to use yet. Nothing here. So I'm going to go look over here because I think these are residences that you can, I, th I, I think, now, can't use them yet. They look a bit run down and like they need some work. There's some up here on the hill too. Let's go up and see this. Oh, there's more impossible to get to. Climbing, can't climb up the hill. Let's go this way. Go over here. Yeah, so these are more places along the wall, I suppose. Um, no access to them yet. Can't interact it. Can't interact with them yet. Just getting us a view of our location. So this is the wall, and those are some big logs they've been bringing in. And we're making materials from them. There's a current house. And what are we doing? Let's see what Mia has to offer. Lumber. I think that's lumber. That's a scaffold kit. Very interesting. Just, you know, basic stuff. Fertilizers and plastics and such. Uh, explosive canisters. CO2 cartridges. Metal springs. All stuff for making uh, things we need. And the rain is falling upon us. And it is getting dark. up here to this hole in the fence. I'm pretty sure it's not really a hole. I'm pretty sure it's actually closed. Wow. It's not closed? Interesting. How is that not closed? I guess they shoot you before you get near it. Surprising. Here's the mechanic, he works on the vehicles, probably sells you everything you need for working on the vehicles, getting the vehicles running. Well, let's go in and talk to him, what the heck. Let's see what he has to say. Looking for some transport, that's what he has to say. I've got some motors I can show you. So he's going to show us oh, vehicle trader window, cycle through the trader's 
things and vehicle customization huh very cool um, so you can get yourself a quad at least but I'll need stuff to own that quad okay maintain by repairing replacing parts and topping off its fuel very cool oh and then there's a jeep and okay very cool so we can get stuff here let's go down your hay should not be out in the rain it shouldn't be uncovered you're gonna ruin it so that was the infirmary here's the kitchen and here is the band how nice talk to her now I think Lexi she takes care of the food and she has supplies and I guess we could pick up some water I guess I need to go see about the runner. So, there's a barn. Runner's over that way. Let's go see the, let's go to the barn. Nick. Gotta finish my conversation with Lexi, apparently. Nick doesn't talk. this place is storage where you can actually see inside or this is oh this is hay storage okay and then you got horses mm, can't go over that fence interesting let's go over here to the horse barn see what's going on over here So I, you know, this is where we can get ourselves a horse. We gotta get it from this guy, and then we have to feed it. You in charge of this? Yes. Not, not gonna sugarcoat it. <clears throat> in this environment, looking for after a horse ain't so easy. So long as you're keeping your trials stocked. Keeping them well fed, you're already doing a good job. Uh, let me show you what we got. So that's a thousand coin for that horse. Okay, so we don't got no coin, but we can. Let's see, where haven't we been? Is this another door that is just freaking wide open? Man, these guys got to be good at shooting stuff. Well, we'll go talk to this guy real quick and see what he's got. I guess you get to put your horses up here. What is your name? I'm looking to trade. And once again, I got no stuff, but I can buy stuff from this guy. Okay, well that's good to know. All right, we need to go find a runner, and we need to get something. I almost want to go up in the tower. Let's go up in the tower. I want to look around. I'm going to see what it looks like from the tower vantage point. Really can't see nothing, huh? He looks a lot like Ken. 
Must be all Ken, Ken clones. Kenneth clones. Man in the walls. At least Ken's trying to protect his folks. All right, so we've seen the barn. We've seen the horses. We know about the medical place. We've seen Ken. We have done the training. Um, we've seen the, the uh, commissary where you can get food and such. So now... <clears throat> Excuse me, voice is going kind of hoarse. Let's um, let's go find the runner. It's nice that they got music. Weapons and ammo trade merchants. I wonder if. Uh, Firing range. I don't think this is a runner. Hmm. So we don't have any money for that either. Wow. This is a nice fire range here. Okay, so I guess I have a I have a gun now. Hmm. Do I get to keep this one? Let's load this sucker up. Let's take the short view first. Zeroing in on that guy. Change it to single shot so we don't waste bullets. Just trying to get used. To, hmm. What am I doing wrong? Let's back up a little bit. I guess those are good shots. Wow. Okay, so. All right. Well, hey, we got a weapon. Was that all we get? Interesting. We picked up a weapon because we were almost not paying attention. <laughs> Let's see. So we've seen the runner. What's over here now? Uh... Storage containers. I think that is the shooting range. Apparently we can run through here. That's back to the mechanic. Here's another. Oh, what's this guy? The runner. Okay. You're the person they brought in from the beach, right? Hmm. I was told to give you some equipment in case you were going back out there. It's not fancy, but it should help. All right. Well, what did we get? If you're in trouble out there again and need to recover some gear, come talk to me. I don't work for free, but I'll get your crap back. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh... 
Before running off, you should really talk to Ken. He's the boss here, here, and here, and here. He, he'll want to talk to you. Okay, I'll go find Kenneth. That's all. Bye. Let's see. Metal pipe. That's an interesting looking bow there. I guess I need to equip it to a slot. Huh. Okay, that worked. And we don't have any arrows. So let's go here. It says I should be able to press four to equip that. Oh, and there's the arrows. That was pretty good, straight on. All right, so we have seen the inside of the place. We know that we can start by getting some um, work. We need to figure out where the board is for the work. I thought I'd, I, I don't think I've seen it yet, so we need to find that. Construction. Mia's garden. Merchant, stables, traders, point. We almost didn't see the the uh, runner. Okay, so oh, there it is, right in front of me. Duh, there's the job board, right there in front of me. So let's see. Why don't we take the scavenger mission first? We're going to go see Lexi right over here. Oh, she wants to be inside. There's a lot of sawdust on the ground, Lex. You probably ought to clean that up because that's fire hazard. Um, that's not Lexi. Okay, well, that was a bad choice. I went the wrong way. I thought this is... Lexi is probably food. So let's go over and see if Lexi is the food lady. Yep, that's Lexi. Uh, a, a quest so we're going to take that next time and go out into the real world and see what it's like because it's uh, 4 o'clock and it's going to get dark soon and I don't want to travel in the dark because I don't know the surroundings yet I think they may have changed some can't really tell how much they've changed in this, this map so we'll get back to you after a while Y'all have a great day. Thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoyed our first look at the new update. Take care.